Hey, Coach Bobo, how you doing? Welcome to uh, the Good Morning Guys show here on K99. Appreciate you taking a few minutes this morning. I appreciate y'all having me on. Well, I'll tell you what we appreciate is just saying the words football. I mean, I, don't, I know it's We're painful ready. for you, but I the offseason of football is absolute hell for me, and I can't wait to see that ball go in the air, and I know you've got to be feeling that way too and looking forward to Saturday. I, I totally agree. You know, at home at night, you're searching the channel for some kind of spring game or some rerun on uh, these networks to watch a little football. Uh, you know, I, I like basketball a little bit, but uh, I'm, I'd rather watch a rerun of a football game any day. Well, Coach, I want to know after going to a bowl game your first year, there's pretty high expectations. Does that bother you at all? No, it doesn't. You want to be at a place that has high expectations and. Uh, where the standards are, you want a consistent winner. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted this job is uh, the consistency that uh, had started here with Coach McElwain of two bowl games and you know, even with Sonny Lubick, the tradition. So I believe that we can be a consistent winner here. Uh, I believe the future is bright and we've got a high ceiling. So I, I'm excited about it. And, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, you want, you want to be at a place where the expectations are high. Now, I'm wondering, Coach, how much do you actually – do you learn a lot out of watching the green and gold game? You do because, you know, you've got three scrimmages. Uh, we've had two already. And, uh, you know, those still are a little bit controlled uh, situationally. You're going to make sure you get third downs. You're going to make sure you get goal line and put in red zone. And, you know, this will be a little bit more flow of a football game. And then, two, you're at the stadium. There's fans in the crowd. There's families. There's band. There's media. Uh, so it adds a little bit more game type atmosphere and a little bit more pressure for the guys. Who's going to respond under a, a, a game like situation? How, how much does getting to a bowl game and achieving what you did last year whet the appetite for your upperclassmen to want to achieve even more this year? Well, I think a lot. I think these guys are every day uh, striving to improve. Uh, you know, I, we're a lot farther along than we were last year because I think we understand what we got to do uh, to maintain that. Uh, you know, coming off uh, a bowl game when I got here, a little bit of thinking, hey, it was going to happen again because we did it last year, and that doesn't work that way. There's a lot of good teams in this conference, and we got to strain every day, you know, to get where we want to be in the fall. And uh, these guys are excited and working hard, and, and that's what you want. But, you know, a lot of times young people think they're the only ones working. You know, and you have to constantly remind them all these teams we're playing, they're working hard too, you know, but what are we doing extra to separate ourselves from them? No question. We're visiting with Coach Bobo of the CSU Rams, and I'm just curious, you've been here, you know, you've you've had a year here, you've had some time to settle in. Uh, have, have you gotten to get a feel for how exceptional this community is around here right now, Coach? I'm starting to. Uh, you know, I, my family didn't get here till June of last year. They stayed and, and finished school, and then you've got – the summer, which kind of flies by with moving everything in the season. But, you know, now that uh, my family's been here, we're, we're getting more indoctrinated with the community, and uh, it's an awesome place. Uh, and it's a college town, and that's what I was looking for, uh, a, a community that supports the university and, and vice versa. But Fort Collins is just uh, uh, an awesome place that uh, my family and I are really, really enjoying well, we are we are thrilled you're here, and we're also thrilled uh, us here at uh, Town Square Media that we are going to be the uh, new flagship radio home on Cars 102.9 uh, FM. We'll be carrying our CSU Rams games, and we're certainly looking forward to that. And there's much more going on Saturday than just the green and gold game. There's the uh, alumni flag football game, Ramstown Kids Zone, Youth Football Clinic. There's going to be the Chick-fil-A sandwich giveaway. Uh, really, this is going to be a fun, fun day for everybody to get out there and uh and uh, just get a feel for everything, Coach. Yeah, it, it's a, it, you know it's going to be beautiful weather, uh, you know, seventy five degrees, and out at Hughes, and and the and just a fun day to bring your family and, and enjoy the day, and, and enjoy being part of the community and uh, support your football team. You know, that's what I try to get across to everybody. It's not my football team; it's it's our football team, and we're excited to, to showcase. Uh, where we are right now, and and hopefully everybody gets a glimpse and gets excited about the season uh, coming up this year. Well, Coach, do you have a feel yet for where you are right now? 
A little bit. I, we're a little farther along than we were last year. I think there's an understanding of what I want uh, every day from meetings to practice tempo and uh, physicality and understanding that there are no days off. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of pieces that we still got to fill in uh, that will be here in the fall. We had a huge senior class that graduated, but the guys that are here, uh, there's no doubt we're ahead of where we were last year. And I can honestly say, you know, we've improved every day during spring practice, and that's what you want. You want to see improvement uh, from one day to the next. Take it from the meeting room to the practice field. Correct your mistakes as an individual or as a unit, and I'm seeing that. Now, we got a long way to go. we got to, got to have a huge summer of leadership from these guys doing stuff on their own and have a, you know, as before we go into fall camp. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it all get started on Saturday, 1 o'clock, Sunny Lubick Field at Hughes Stadium, the green and gold game. You have got to get out there and check it out. If you need info, give us a call here. And, uh, Coach, thanks for the time, and we look forward to visiting with you throughout the season, Coach. No problem. I do, too. Appreciate y'all. You bet. Coach Bubble with us here on K99.